Welcome back to Speedgrass Forge. Today, I'll be reviewing the complete modern blacksmith as a beginner for beginners. Stick around. Thanks for joining me. Today, I'll be looking at the book, a book recommended for many beginners, The Complete Modern Max Blacksmith. After this review, uh, if you're interested in purchasing this book, please check the link in the description for the Amazon affiliate link. Be aware, if you do purchase through this link, I will receive a small kickback, uh, but that support will go towards not only you getting the book, but it'll also help out the channel. So thanks. So, The Complete Bo uh, Modern Blacksmith by uh, Alexander G. Uh, Wagers. It was first published in three parts, being The Making of Tools in 1973, The Modern Blacksmith in 1974, and then the third part, which is Recycling and the Use and Repair of Tools in 1978. It's available on Amazon. It had a 4.5 star rating, a length of 293 pages, not including the glossary and index. Now, this book probably should have been named, in my opinion, Blacksmithing for Woodworkers, Homesteaders, uh, off-gridders and machinists. While it contains a plethora of interesting information and techniques on tooling and machinery, in my opinion this book is by no means a book for beginners. This book is easy enough to read and understand while being an academic look into the processes and forging that it covers. Um, now because it was first published in parts over a period of six years, uh, this book has a bit of information that may, may be seen as outdated or not as relevant today's, um, to today's today's uh, society, particularly regarding steel and tooling, uh, and also because the books have simply been compiled uh, into one volume. Uh, there are many parts that have been duplicated in each section, notably notably heat treating and tempering, machinery and tooling builds and handling, as in putting handles on the tools. This book does contain some exceptional information uh, and illustrations of tooling and processes related to smithing in easy to understand language and also a few handy tips regarding things that uh, surround blacksmithing, most notably for myself, uh, the, in acid sharpening of files and rasps. Some of the positives of this book are the, is the comprehensive information regarding how to make woodworking tools, uh, forging and fabricating um, general tools uh, to make said tools, and information on repairing and sharpening tools. A section on basic hinges uh, is informative and uh, making basic ferrules is something that I've never considered. Uh, it also covers making scissors and scissors, snips and cutters, which I've not seen yet in any other resource. Uh, it's also a great resource for tooling and machine building. However, there are some not so positives. Uh, this is more focused, this, most of this book uh, is particularly more focused on woodworking tools, making handles, and the use of power tools. Now, the author uh, was a woodcarver uh, and was a woodcarver throughout the world uh, and, and does some amazing stuff. Uh, it also. It also covers, uh, uh, in the repairing tool section, it only really repairs one tool and refurbishes a couple of others. A lot of the stuff in the book relies on the use of power tools um, and the building of, power, of, of said power tools. The blacksmithing section also goes from absolute basic uh, to advanced. Now, the book is compiled by simply joining together the three volumes um, that I mentioned in the beginning, uh, with no regard to any overlaps uh, of those volumes. So there are a lot of there is a lot of stuff in this book that's covered several times, which, upon reading it, you'll end up skipping over. Now, while the book is rather interesting, it can be very dry upon reading, and the repetitions uh, and as said, the repetitions of the sections will likely be skipped over. It touches on the absolute basic skills required in blacksmithing. From there, it goes into projects that require uh, skills, tooling, and knowledge that wouldn't reasonably expect it uh, to be known by a beginner and therefore is beyond the beginner's capability. Overall, while a great, great resource to eventually have in your library uh, for intermediate smiths and advanced smiths, of course, um, this is likely going to sit on my shelf until I need something specific 
out of this book or if I'm looking for a specific tool and how to make it. So overall, I give this one ball peen hammer and as a general resource in your library, I give it three angles. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you'd like a copy of the complete modern blacksmith, check out the link, the Amazon link in the description. Don't forget if you do purchase through that, that link, I do receive a little bit of a kickback, but that goes towards supporting the channel. Check out my previous videos in this series just here and check out the, the playlist in my, on my channel for more blacksmith book reviews. Again, thanks for watching and I hope to catch you next time. Cheers.